Alright guys, welcome back. Um, so we're right where I left off. Um, as you can see here, tomorrow I get the 100k gold. So I might buy the house in Elden Root. I'm still not totally sure on that. But since last episode I did quite a bit. As you can see, there's some new locations on the map. A lot actually. Um, a lot of complete locations. I did a couple delves and things like that. Um, if we tail hop over here. We're at 20 out of 38, um, so I think I did about 10 or so quests uh, between last episode. I played it uh, for about 4 or 5 hours the other day off camera, uh, just doing side quest exploring. I did 2 more delves since last time. Um, I visited a couple more points of interest. Uh, we were almost done by the way, as you can see with the zone story. Um, there's only one more striking locale. I did one of the world events, which, yeah. Um, have all the craft, the set stations unlocked. I know where both the fucking stones are, I just don't walk up to them. I know where the dungeon is as well. And then, I collected most of the sky shards, which I'm happy with. Like, I can leave this zone at 10 sky shards and be happy, so... I probably won't because we still got more shit to do in this zone, but we're almost done with this zone quest and then we have the guild quest here, and I think that's it. And then once we're done with both of those, we can go back to the main story, and then we can head over into the next uh, zone. So, this zone was shorter than Arden, I'd say, by quite a bit. Arden, I spent, like, 18 hours in or some shit. I mean, to be fair, this zone, I probably have... Uh, 10? So, yeah, about 10. Which I'd say is fair. It being a, uh, smaller zone overall than Arden. It's about half the size of Arden. Over here. And Arden, I didn't, like... Arden, I did a lot of quests, but they were all in the same area. You know what I mean? So, you know, it is what it is, man. All right, let's talk to Melores. You have done what has not been done in centuries. All the parts of the orrery have been placed within the chamber, and Dereneth awaits us below. I must admit to being more than a little excited. I've never seen the orrery operational. What else remains? Not much. You've done extraordinary Isn't that work. crazy? That quest line took like four hours. <laughs> Here's four hundred dollars. Imagine the chance to see the Orrery It did. It took like four hours to Conservative do that quest. Conservator Dereneth is preparing Queen Iren as we speak. What's next? We should really head in there and get started. The ratification ceremony isn't going to perform itself after all. And from what I understand, Conservator Dareneth wanted to speak with you personally. I'll meet Conser Conservator Dareneth at the Orrery. At the Orrery. At the Orrery. Enter the Orrery. Well, you guys know what the title of the video is? The Orrery. The Orrery. Oh yeah, I, I made a video on that. Got our little pet from when the, uh, the new update came out. I don't have scribing. I mean, I could do the quest for it. <sighs> I just don't know if I want to. I wish I was like closer to that DLC, but we still have years of DLC to do. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Once we get past that threshold. You know, Crazy shit. Enter the orrery. Where the fuck is the orrery? Yeah. Where am I going? <laughs> I thought the orrery was in there, but the orrery is yeah. out here. What the fuck? Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Are you serious? That's weird. You're weird for that, guys. Enter the orrery. Talk to the conservator. Eat. Yeah. The 
minion soldiers, my homeboys. Preposterous! I'm an old Mary Vicereve, an assistant to Prince Naaman himself. Why am I barred from the ceremony? The orrery hasn't been activated in a millennia. It might work splendidly, yes. Or it might explode. But I'll speak with Darinet if you insist on being present. So they don't want him to be there because they don't know how it's going to go down. Once it's activated. This is a pointless ass fuck room to have. Um, same Little thing brother, there. you shouldn't be here for this. Darinet warned us of the dangers. I won't turn my back on family. My place is in your shadow, as it has always been. I know this can't be easy for you. On the contrary, today the Dominion shall see why a High Elf is fit to lead all of Tamriel. I used to despise your certainty, but today it's reassuring, oddly enough. Apology accepted. <laughs> okay. So people are kind of I'll make of sure everyone clears out as you requested. But you don't need to be here, your highness. I used to sneak in here as a child and climb through the orrery's rungs. Do you think I'd pass up on the chance to see what it actually does? But have no fear. I want you at the outer door. Thank you, your majesty. I won't let you down. You never do. stick drift. Yeah. Strange to see you after South Point. Not bad, just strange. But no matter. I can hardly believe we're about to breathe some life into this old girl. And before you ask, yes, I'm speaking of the orrery. Are you ready to begin? Almost. You recovered the pieces needed for the orrery's activation, so it's only fair you're here to put them in place. So, I should be the one to ask. Are you ready? I am ready. Good. The first thing you'll need is to take up Rachin's mantle. A god's hands move the orrery, goes the translation. But that's a load of force lock. You simply need to be in three places at once. Rachin's mantle should allow for that. Is it safe for Rachin's mantle? Is it safe? Rachin's mantle drove General and are you mad? Oh, you'll be alright. That overly earnest fellow from the Mage's Guild, Braylor, was it? He assured me you'd be safe if you wore it for no longer than 90 minutes. Or was it nine? No matter. The ceremony will take five minutes. Maybe six. All right, give me Rajin's mantle. Approach the pillars beyond the orrery itself. You must activate each in turn while keeping one thought in mind. When you wear Rajin's mantle, you'll never be held in place. From what, what? I understand, oh. it should do the why do that? Why do I do that? I always do that. I fucking read their line for no reason. So this pile of moss and rubble determines the next... Nearly there, your majesties, your highness. That's it. It's working. It's actually working. What next? Here, take hold of the heart of a numero. Place it in the pillar next to our royal observers. That should do it. Do what exactly? Awaken the orrery, whatever that truly means. But have no fear. This contrivance allows me to manipulate its energies. This means I can keep Queen Irene safe when she steps inside. Now go. Place the heart of a numeral. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Okay. And now the alien death trap will tell us if we have an emperor in our midst. Truly a momentous day. Naaman, now is not the time. Iren, there's always time to protect you from yourself. Oh, that's okay. For how could I let you risk your life in this contraption without testing it first, dear sister? Where are Chin's mantles? You'll never be held in I have to kill him? That's fucked. It's incredible! I can see the white gold tower! No! Oh. Hey! <laughs> 
tricked me, sister. It's your fault. That's all right. I'll kill you all. I had little choice, Your Majesty. What? No, I... Why would Naaman do this? I made him a part of what we were building. Tried to show him this is about more than just our people. I would have all of Tamriel be our people. Oh, what did the Ori do to him? I was what just staring at says. it. <laughs> it revealed the person within. As it will do to me. What do you mean? Do you think I have a choice in this? I will enter the orrery as I swore to the people of the Old Mary Dominion. I must learn whether I'm fit to lead them. And if I'm not... Yes, Your Majesty? If I'm changed, as my brother was, I can't become a danger to the people I've sworn to lead. Do you understand me? I understand, Your Majesty. I must not delay. You book it, book it, bro, book it. You look the same, if not a little taller. I'm myself, aren't I? It appears so, Your Majesty. What did you see in the orrery? A dominion of peace, the fair and just rule of Tamriel, beneath an old Mary banner. A future I hope to build. And you, standing at my side. Come, help me build the future. Complete quest. I don't intend to tell anyone what my brother did. As far as I'm concerned, he died trying to help me, not usurp my throne. What now? The Staff of Magnus. What do you mean, what is the Staff of Magnus? A powerful object with the ability to suppress magic. Dangerous were it to fall into the wrong hands. Luckily, we already possess it. Go to Marbrook in Eastern Greenshade. Speak to Captain Sarandil about securing the staff. I'll follow soon after. We'll secure the staff, Your Highness. We heard sounds of battle. What happened? There was an accident. My brother gave his life. Yep, we gotta to talk to the guildmaster now. He died a hero. I. I don't. I will soon go to Marbrook. Vice Reeve Peladil, I want you to travel ahead Sorry. with my brother's body. You will make the funeral. Yes. Is this really happening? I don't know what you mean. So green you shade is next. Seen. You arrived near the end of it. But we gotta do the guild quest here. Do I think it's only one main quest, and then we can go back to green shade or go to green shade for the first time. I don't know how we get there. She didn't give us like an actual direction to go, like for boat wise. So I don't know if it's connected to Growwood. Might be. Might be connected to Growwood somewhere, actually. Yeah, right there. I can just book it that way. And that takes me over here to Green Shade, which is fucking massive. <laughs> Look how big that shit is, dude. God damn. That is a big motherfucker. That's cool, though. That's cool. That's cool. I was a big boy though. That's just big. This is a this is the this is a town. <whistles> solid size. It's not that big. And this is Marbrook. Also solid size. Very cool. Very very cool. That's a big area. And then Green Shade. After Green Shade is Molob Tor. I think actually. Like I'm not even kidding. I think they're all connected now at this point. <laughs> They're all connected on the mainland. Next would be Reaper's March. Nope, that's the uh, that's the PVP map. Northern Elsewire. Solid. It's not that big. 
Oh, that looks terrible. That looks overly complicated. I don't like it. Southern elsewhere. Elsewhere. Which I don't have. Because that's part of the Dragon Bolt DLC. But I have this one. I think. It's not, it's not making it very clear. <laughs> Blackwood I have. Merkmire I don't have. Wait. Yeah, I have Blackwood. I wish my damn fucking stick drift. Stone falls. Ooh, boy, that's big. What is this for? Necrom. Interesting. Let's go talk to the guild master, I guess. I was gonna end the video once we finished the zone quest, but that was very short, so. Only one of the guild quests. Yeah! And then I need to see. What is next? I need to go on Reddit and look at that post. I think after I do the guild quest, though, I only do one story quest, and then I can go to Green Shade and do that zone quest and stuff there. And then I think I have to do two more main quests or something like that. Can you go in, please? Thank you. I wish I could fucking use my mouth. I just killed us on this side. So, so we go. So we we're doing Grotwood right now, and then we do the Tharn Speaks, and then we can do Green Shade, and then we do two more story quests. Then we can do Malum Tor, and then we do two more quests that we could do Reaper's March and then that goes straight into um, doing messages across Tamriel which I don't know what that is and then that takes you to Cold Harbor and shit so that does a whole thing there and then you can go and start your DLCs Okay. Okay. Fairly simple. Yeah, I don't know if I, I don't think I'm gonna do Imperial City at all. I wanted to because it does have like PVE stuff, but I don't think I'm going to. I don't. I don't know. I don't care too much about the PVP stuff outside of the battlegrounds because the battlegrounds are fun. I do enjoy them. But, I don't know. The Imperial City 2 is just fucking rough. I, I, it's definitely because I don't have, like, a proper build right now. But I went there, dude. I got my, I got my shit fucking rocked. So fast. Hello, Guildmaster. Good to see you again, comrade. You recall our encounter with Dosha, yes? When we found her encoded journal? It's been translated. Yes. We called in several favors to do it. But we've cracked her code. In service to her dark master, Dosha was after something hidden in a dwarven ruin, a place known as Mazenelt. What was she looking for? We're not sure, but it seems to have something to do with that more tomb Vivicus her notes mentioned. Mazenelt is far from here, but I've prepared a portal that will carry us across Tamriel. What do you say, comrade? This Venture with me into the unknown? Let's do it. I will open the portal. Takes just a moment. This is not what I expected. Alright. And then Here I believe go. once we finish like the main story and stuff, I believe we're allowed to go through on the same character and do the alliance quest for the other zones. So we could do the Daggerfall Covenant uh, quest line and the uh what the fuck's the other guys? It's Daggerfall Dominion. What the fuck is it? Am I stupid? Am I dumb? Hold on. What the fuck? It's it's Daggerfall Covenant. Dominion. I can't fucking open the map anymore. Ah, dude. I'm having a fucking stroke. Daggerfall Dominion. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Campaigns. Cyrodiil. Ebonheart Pact. Ebonheart Pact. I, dude, I was... <laughs> 
I was gonna be so mad if I could figure it out. <laughs> Black Reach. But yeah, I think once you do the main quest line, you can do. Dosha was no scholar. Everyone else. She did nothing idly. The river has brought us here for a reason. What are we looking for? A treasure of some kind, a potent weapon, or an epic spell. Dosha respected only one thing: power. Whatever it is, we must get it away from here. Why the urgency? Dosha knew of this place, and so others do as well. If we don't retrieve whatever it is, others will come. And it must have something to do with that Mortum Vivicus. If Molag Baal plans to unleash that weapon again, we must stop it. What do you think it is? The last days of the Dwemer were endless war. Their mages raced to perfect ever more esoteric spells, ever more powerful weapons. Perhaps the origins of the Vivicus stem from that long-gone era. What is this place? A holdfast of the Dwemer, the Dwarves. We're somewhere in Hammerfell, I think, near the South Dragontail Mountains. Or so Dosha's notes say. Do you know where the Dwarves went? <laughs> if I did, I'd be the wisest woman in Tamriel, comrade. No, no one knows what made the Dwarves disappear. Or at least, no one is sane. Why Hammerfell? Why does the river take us anywhere? I, I, the Dwemer built complexes all throughout northern Tamriel. My guess is that we're at this ruin for a treasure of some kind. Where they went. If just any dwarven ruin would do, there are closer places than Mizenelt. Could you remind me about Dasha? Dosha kidnapped Dosha. our comrade Merrick. She intended to harvest his soul for Molag yes, Bal okay, in this. service to a plan involving this Mortum Vivicus. I remember that as and well. And then, of course, you came to his rescue. Yes. Slew her and stole her journal, which okay. is what led us here. Did you learn anything else from Dosha? Do a holdfast of the Dwemer, the dwarves. We're somewhere in Hammerfell, I think. Why does the river take us anywhere? Dosha kidnapped many things. The journal spoke of this place, but it also. Oh, okay, it's just dumb shit. It's fairly straightforward, because it we can't go that way. Yeah, the dwarves are cool because all this shit's like st it's like steampunk, you know? What in nerd? Oh. The undead are close behind us. We must hide the remains of the weapon. Now! The automatons are still active. We'll die down here. We will see this done. Or Molag Bal's hunters will chew on our bones. Kurano is right. With any luck, the constructs will hold back the dead. Let's move. I still think this plan is madness. Those were ancient ones. Aliens in a Dwemer ruin. What went on here? It's so cool though. I, I love the, the fucking aesthetic you get from the board. And exploring the dwarven ruins and like fucking uh in uh Skyrim are like some of the most memorable fucking things about that game. Blades ready, comrade! These constructs know no mercy. Holy shit, this fool is Dude, this is like my fifth controller now. Damn it. Corino is dead. The weapon will be lost. Dosha was. No, there's still hope. Osterand will have to do it. Oblivion, take you. I can't. We can still succeed. But you'll have to enact the sacrifice, my friend. Without a soul in the crystal, there will be no way to repair the weapon. It must be done, Osterand. A sacrifice? What did they come here to do? I don't want to read all that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just don't want to read all that. There 
shit is very strong. The scale it took to craft these constructs. Amazing. Oh yeah, I forgot. Wait. Oh, never mind, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm currently platinum in Castle Crashers, um, right now. Dude, I forgot how good that game was. I'm playing the remastered version, obviously, not the PS4. But I remember playing Castle Crashers on the D60, and, uh, that, what the fuck, what was that theater game? It was something theater. And both those games were so fun. Those were part of, like, the Xbox Live, like, Just indie titles. what this place must have looked like in the time of the Dwemer. That shit was so fun. I need to read those, because this definitely have a story. Barely survived the last wave. Too. Well, Ash is injured. We'll never hold against the dead and the constructs. Osterond is right. You need time. I'll lead the dead away, down another branch in the tunnels. Lanath, don't. You'll never survive the swarm. If my death buys you the time it needs. For Deladil and Meridia! <laughs> Giving yourself willingly to the river's current. Noble. Her mom's noble on this dick. I don't know why I said that. Fuck you, pussy. Fuck you, pussy. Get away from me. Get away from me. Stop. Dumbass. I done did try to tell you, boy, and I did not. I done did try to tell you. Bookshelf. Ass. Didn't get nothing. Didn't get nothing but knowledge. I didn't even get knowledge, actually. Fuck. I scared the shit out of me. <laughs> God. Let's go, dude. Do I'm your scrap? Let's go. More wonders. And a split in the path. Which way shall we go, comrade? It doesn't fucking matter. I'll go this way. Run, bitch, run. Run, bitch, run. Penis, man. Amazing, these halls remain intact. Moment. This may be crucial. My love, Osterold, if you're going to do it, you have to do it now. I'm dying. I can't. Don't die on me, Malasha. I can't do this. You must, my love, or Molag Ball has won. It's what she wants, Osterand. This is why we came here. Do it. It's okay, Bear. Goodbye, my love. My Valasha. Valasha's journal remains. Perhaps it will shed more light on what's going on here. Another journal? Amazing it's still preserved. May I see it? Here you go. The water begins to clear. Two cities, one warship's Meridia. The other, Molag Bal. Abagarlis, the city of the dead, creates a relic to strike at the Meridians. Deladil, City of Light, creates their own weapon, forged around a heart of crystal. The aliens here are from the Meridian City, right? Just so. These ancient ones steal into the heart of the enemy with this crystal weapon. 
They stop the ritual, and their king ends the dark rule of Abagarlis. But they are hunted, so they try to find a haven, a place to hide the crystal. They came here to Benzental. You have the right of it. They sought to hide their prize, but the priestess of Meridia first gave her life. She relit the crystal heart so that the weapon could one day be forged anew. So the crystal is here. Yes, comrade. The journals also speak of a tome. Yes, Instructions comrade. for creating the weapon. The crystal heart of the weapon and the means to construct it lie here somewhere in these ruins. Then we better find them. Dumb fuck. I really don't like it's not like a person, which defeats the whole purpose of playing first person. Like, I wish it was fucking immersive, but it's not. There's something about it, the proportions seem wrong in first person. Look how big my stamina is. I can do so many shots now, actually. It's kind of legit. Motherfucker, where did you go? I can't do that. It's bullshit. Are not the droids you are. I can't hold them. You have to go. I'm not leaving you. We died when we agreed to this quest. We just kept walking a while. Hide the crystal. Hide the toad. Go. Run, little boy. Such bravery in the face of certain death. Mm. Debatable. Collect red crystals. Motherfucking piece of shit assholes. Dwarven crystal. Oh, so not the actual fucking red crystals? That's cool. That's cool, dude. I don't want to actually collect the red fucking crystals anyway. What the shit? Why are you shitting on my break? Oh, cool. <laughs> it's fairly simple. Look at this. You see how many of these I can fire off? Dude, that's crazy. Doing stamina fucking gear items and leveling it up, dude. That shit's the shit. You see that? I literally did not have to stop clicking the button. That's dope. That's how it should be. That's sick. The dead centurion. Books. Fitting resting place for my watch. You're so fucking annoying. Thou just have to find it. That motherfucker's tall, what is he? Oh, he's What? No! 
one fails, fucking one swift swoop. The crystal is in that steam centurion. We must destroy it. Get fucking bored. Fuck. Well done. Now to leave this place. Dude, this stick drift is fucking crazy. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna play X to find. We've succeeded where that withered root dosha failed, mm -hmm. comrade. Here. I will open a portal for us to return. Yes, Guildmaster. Take the crystal and the tome. Give them to Merrick, and he can begin learning what it will take to forge the weapon. Where are you going, Guildmaster? I have something I must attend to, comrade. The knowledge we have gained here has flooded my mind. I must mind the river's course. I'm sure we'll speak again soon. See you soon, then. Wait for her to leave. I must speak with you. I'll see you down the river, comrade. Please, speak with me. I have only a moment to talk. Why do you keep appearing to me? You're in danger. Danger I can't fully comprehend. Not even in death. What kind of danger? Why can't we talk about this danger? Someone close to you has plans. Plans for both of us. Plans to betray you. I am anchored. Contained. Pulled away. Beware, comrade. I will. Merrick, how's it going, man? Welcome back from the depths, comrade. Guildmaster Sees All Colors told me you'd have something for me. Yes, we found this tome and crystal in Mesentil. Thank you. I'll begin my research straight away. You'll be the first we contact once I know the details. The details. In the meantime, Seize All Colors sends her regrets she couldn't stay. She said she had an urgent matter to attend to. Complete quest. Inventory. Solid, bro. Got that maximum stamina increase. This was sub. Hells yeah. It's legit. Main hand. Got a dagger. Um, didn't level up from that though. All right, that's cool. So next episode we will be doing this. Um, simply misplaced. It's our next uh, guild quest for the mages guild, and then we'll go and do the Thorn Speaks uh, zone or uh, main quest. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below where you guys want to see the channel in the future. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Stay safe out there. Peace out, guys.